Good evening to the members of, of the press. I just want to report um, on the meeting that we just had of the Executive Council of the Democratic Labour Party, where we discussed and presided over the matter of the non-confidence um, petition that was submitted by one of our members. Um, of course, you would have seen um, the contents of the resolution that was widely shared on, on media and the mainstream media and also on social media. Um, so I just want to report the, the, the decisions that we made um, within the councils of the, the council of the party. And first of all, let me we thank you, I uh, thank um, the leaders of the United Workers Party um, in St. Lucia for extending an invitation. It is because of that invitation um, that this uh, resolution and the matters surrounding this resolution sprung. And therefore, I, I, we want to convey from the Democratic Labour Party the leadership of uh, our sincerest thanks to the leadership um, of the United Workers' Party for so extending an invitation to the leadership of this party in both um, President uh, Dr. Ronnie and also the, the, the leader of the opposition, Mr. Ralph Thorn, to attend the 60th anniversary celebrations of that party. Um, I want to first confirm that letters of invitation uh, were extended to both uh, the president of the party, Dr. Ronnie, and also to the leader of the opposition, Mr. Ralph Thorn. Um, the, the letters of, inv of invitation were received by both of them, um, and they were dispatched, the, especially the one a letter of invitation to the leader of the opposition came through this office and it was dispatched immediately to him um, and he received it. They were accepted. Um, the list, and uh, get into the list now of the uh, members who actually uh, were, uh, were identified as signing the, the resolution. Um, when the list was scrutinized, um, some of the people, persons on that list uh, were identified to be not members of the party. Um, also, there were other members whose names were attached uh, to the list, that their names were attached without their knowledge. They were ignorant of, of having their names on, on, the, uh, on that list. Um, basically, that is uh, what the, the findings were coming out of the meeting that we had with the um, Executive Council uh, not too long ago, and, and that is exactly where we are at this stage. And what does that mean? Is it, does it mean that the motion has been quashed at the executive level? Uh, certainly not. There, there will be some further investigations uh, to be conducted by other organs of the party, um, but that is exactly where we are at this stage. Okay. Um, just, again, pardon my ignorance, what does this then mean for the motion uh, from here? Um, because um, it does it, you said it's not quashed. Um, do they have to now go and get fresh signatures? What's, what's the plan of action? Well, that, that, that would be entirely left to uh, the person who submitted uh, the resolution in the first place, um, if they so desire. But the, what the, the, the Executive Council found uh, that the, uh, some of the members who actually affixed their names to the petition, they did it without their knowledge, and also some of the members who, who, who actually signed um, the, the petition, they were not members of this party. Okay. Again, forgive me for this issue then. The idea of it being of a special, um, the calling of a special meeting of the, the general council or whatever to, to hear this, would that then now be denied, or is that still something that is, 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 is going to happen? What's, what's we have not yet come to that position. Um, like I said, there's some further actions to be taken after this meeting here this evening. And when those actions are taken, then we will come to a final position on, on the resolution. Okay. Um, final question from me. Um, given the fact that the the, the, the executive has been named, as well as yourself and 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 um, Dr. Yearwood has been named in this in this uh, motion. Um, I don't know how what 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 the party procedures are, but um, 
in the spirit of transparency, one might argue that having yourself and Mr. Yearwood preside over a matter that involves uh, themselves, um, how does this speak to the transparency of the process? In terms of, of what? The fact that yourself, the executive who is named, and Dr. Yearwood is pres was presiding over uh, this motion that basically is about themselves. Um, how does that speak to the spirit of transparency? Well, 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 well certainly, well, certainly, Brother Monzi, the 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 day to day running of the party um, is done by the executive council of the party. Yeah? Executive Council of the Party. Um, if you remove the Executive Council and the the person who actually chairs the, the Executive Council, which is the President, and the person who is the Secretary to the Executive Council, which is the General Secretary, I, I cannot see how there could be any um, any deliberations. But it, 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 I mean, the, the question still still remains. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, in any in any system of of um, that re that requires well natural justice or whatever the case is, you still would be um, presiding over a matter that, that involves yourself. But the Monzi, I think the question that you're being asked, that you've just asked, you should also understand that the res the petition would have to come to the general council. What the meeting tonight did was to look at the petition to find if it is in order. What the General Secretary said to you this that not too long ago is that we found that there were some discrepancies within that petition. Okay? And then it means then that the other organs of this organization will have to act on those discrepancies. Okay? okay? So only the, 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 the procedural aspect that you rule on tonight, mm -hmm. pretty much. We have, we have looked at it, like I said before, and the General Secretary was very, very clear. We looked at it, we went through it, we show the inaccuracies within the, within the petition, right? And now it is for the other organs of the organization to look to see how we can bring this to an end.